What's up guys and girls welcome back to the channel if you're new make sure you hit the subscribe button like comment at the end of the video and let me know what it is that you did like what it is you didn't like what you think i could have done better what i could have explained better something you didn't understand didn't get something you want me to elaborate more on or if you just enjoyed the video please just give me a thumbs up emoji or something you just something to help me out right let me know that i did something for you today now as the title suggests, we're going to be talking about line lock solenoids. So I'm a big drag racing guy. I love drag racing. I'm not fast. Um, I'm not famous, but I love it. It's what I like to do. So having said that, we're going to talk about line lock solenoids. Let me see if I can actually write decent today. Line lock solenoids. All right. So. You may be asking yourself, what is a line lock solenoid? Why do I need a line lock solenoid? Do I have to have one? Uh, does it make my car faster? Is it expensive? Uh, did, is it going to hurt anything? If it, is it going to change the way my car drives every single day? And I'll get to all those questions for you really quickly here. So the first thing first is the line lock solenoid. It is a solenoid. So you, you provide 12 volt power and a ground to this solenoid to lock the no not the line well technically yes i guess it, you're locking the bra the brake line but uh i do believe the terminology for line lock originally became from uh they use these things for what was called roll control me personally i would not use a line lock solenoid for roll control they do not release fast enough uh, i have had that problem before where the car kind of starts to launch and although you flip the switch off as you're letting out a clutch pedal or something the front brakes are still kind of locked up and drag the car down. And uh, if you pull the front tire just a little bit and it's not released as it starts coming back down, oh, trust me, you notice it. So I've been there, done that. I would not use it for roll control, but that's why they called it line lock because it would lock you down to the starting line without the car rolling off and leaving. So that is the, the reason for that. But what we're doing essentially is using this solenoid to lock the front tires. So the way that this works see if I can draw us a uh, brake master cylinder here right so it's gonna have our reservoir here yeah it's a nice reservoir I did a good job so this is gonna be your line that goes to the rear of the car this is gonna be your line that goes to the front of the car right so your brake fluid goes back here and does brake things and it goes up here and it does brake things but what we're gonna do is add a line lock solenoid up here Okay, so what this is gonna be is it's gonna have two wires that come off of it. This one's gonna go to ground, and this one's gonna go to the positive side of the battery, right? And then our ground just goes to, you know, normal ground, right? Just drawing that out for the diagram. So in this diagram right here, as you're looking at it, it's on all the time, right? So you also, as you can imagine, somewhere you need to have a switch. right? That switch is still currently on. What's going to happen when your switch is on is when you push the brake pedal down, as you can imagine, you push it down, it's going to push fluid this way, right? And it's also going to push your rear fluid this way. Huh, that works better, didn't it? <laughs> Easier me trying to draw arrows the whole, whole way. Anyways, so now your fluid's pushing out. When you let off your pedal, right, and we go back this way, well, guess which way your fluid's now going? Back the other way, right? I guess I couldn't have drawn that many arrows. Now your fluid's going the other way. Try to, try to keep up here. I'm crashing a little bit. So our fluid's now going back this way. This fluid's now going back this way. But this fluid right here is now hit the China Great Wall. It's not going anywhere. Now your pressure is steady. It's not flowing, it's not going forwards, it's not going backwards. It is holding pressure on just the front brakes. So, 
You may be asking yourself, well, why is this beneficial, right? Why do I need it to lock down just the front brakes, right? So as your car, as your car is trying to do a burnout, right? Imagine this is your drag tire, and you got your little tiny wheels on the back with your big old meaty tires, and you start doing a burnout, your tires are gonna be spinning and putting off clouds of smoke, right? And that's, that's how that's pretty much gonna go in a nutshell, right? So imagine, in order to spin that tire, but you want that tire to stay in place, right? You want it to stay right here, okay? You want your tire to stay right there. You don't want it to move. You don't want your car taken off to the start line. You wanna do your burnout, right? If you're doing your burnout right here and you're not holding the brakes, well, where do you think the car's gonna go? It's gonna go forward, right? Yeah, it's gonna go forward. Well, guess what? We do not want it to go forward while we do our burnout. So what do we do to prevent the car from going forward? We hold the brake pedal down, right? To hold the brake pedal down, as you remember from the last diagram we did, when you push it down, fluid goes to the rear brakes, right? Well, if fluid's going to the rear brakes and we're applying pressure to them, well, that means we're using them. Well, how are we using the brakes if we're spinning the tires, right? That's the problem. What ends up happening is you're superheating your pads and your rotors and your brake fluid, which is gonna end up causing you to have brake fade. It's gonna make the car a little bit more difficult to get stopped on the top end of the track. Um, the fix for that, line lock solenoid. So now we've taken our foot off of the brake pedal. The fluid has come out of this. So now there's no pressure on the rear, but now that front wheel is locked. It has got a, uh, got a lock. It's now not moving. That tire is gonna hold you still, but you don't have any pressure on the rear. So now it's gonna be, for one, easier to do your burnout. For two, cheaper to do your burnout because now you're not wearing your brakes out prematurely. And three, it's gonna be safer because of two reasons. One, you didn't heat your brake fluid. And for two, when you do your burnout, sometimes the cars will kind of walk to the side just a little bit because maybe one front brake grabs better than the other, you know, something like that. When you're, you're slipping off the clutch and brake and trying, you're just doing a whole bunch of stuff, it can move. So now you've got locked up brakes, it's firm, they're both exactly equal. They've got the same amount of pressure on them. Now the car's not gonna walk or do anything stupid. So now that also is a third reason that the vehicle is safer. So, in a nutshell, as I wrap this up, do you need it? No, you don't need it. Is it nice? Yes, it's nice, it helps. Um, are they expensive? You may be wondering, are, are they expensive? So generally, these things can come in kits for anywhere between 150 to 500 bucks, right? Now that's gonna depend on your application, the brand you choose, um, stuff like that, right? So no, it's not really expensive. You can even find some of them used. I've got one laying over here on the floor. <laughs> Forgot I even had this. So this is the solenoid that I've got. This one is a Hurst. It is known as a um, roll control, I think is what Hurst calls theirs. Um, I, I don't want to use it for a long roll control. It'll be used for a line lock. It'll be used to do burnouts. But if I can get in here close enough, hopefully you can see this. It has a couple ports on it. And uh, I do believe the only two ports I'm going to use are these two. And that's going to be a feed to the master cylinder and then the feed to the brake calipers. So this will go to the front wheels. This will go to the brake master cylinder right next to the firewall. Okay. So... As you can see, I've got a power and a ground. So 12 volts and a ground, that's it, that's all it is. It is actually, if you're familiar with nitrous stuff, it is pretty much the exact same solenoid, but instead of moving nitrous or fuel, it's moving brake fluid. That's basically all it is. This is an electromagnet that is either off or on, and that's it. And this electromagnet builds the Great Wall of China inside this little box. Then whenever you turn the magnet off, now it's got a hole for fluid to flu fluid to flow both directions, right? So now fluid can go either way. Simple as that. And lastly, you may be wondering, is it safe? Is it going to affect the way my car drives each and every single day? Um, the, the short answer is no. It's not going to impact the way your car drives every single day because the switch is going to be off and it's going to act just like a perfectly normal system like this isn't even there. The only time you're going to know this is there is when the switch is on. So. 
That is my quick crash course on line locks and roll control solenoids. Uh, like I said, I personally would not prefer using one of these things for a roll control, mainly for the fact of the slow release and stuff at the starting line. Like it, it's bit me before, so that's why I don't recommend it. But you can, you can use it. It does work for that reason. Uh, some people put them on a momentary push button. Some people put them on a toggle switch. I'm a toggle switch kind of guy because I'm just going to turn it on and do my burnout. I don't want to have to hold a button the whole time I do my burnout. That's just me. You take with that information, do as you will, run with it, what, you know, whatever. But like I said, in the comments, let me know what you guys think. Let you know if you think I did something good, something bad. Did I explain it good? Did I explain it bad? Um, don't comment on my wiring or drawing. Don't comment on my drawing because I already know it was the most beautiful thing you've seen all day. Sorry about it. Come back, like, subscribe, do me a favor, share, share it with your friends. Maybe one of your friends doesn't know what roll control is or line lock is. Help him out. Don't even think about help. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Worry about your buddy. He's unfamiliar with this stuff. He don't know. He's a rookie. Let him know.